This is SAT test 8, calculator question number 16, dealing with a research study on vitamin C and preventing the common cold. A random sample of adults was assigned either to take vitamin C daily for two weeks or to take a sugar pill daily for the same two weeks, and they reported whether or not they contracted a cold during that period. The question is, what percent, what proportion of those who received a sugar pill, so of those who received a sugar pill, what proportion reported contracting a cold? In these questions, I always look for the numerator of my fraction or proportion and the denominator almost as separate questions because College Board will sometimes ask this where your denominator is one column or more than one column or one row or more than one row or the entire table so you have to read carefully to make sure you've correctly identified your denominator. And then once you've identified the denominator, the question is, of those individuals, so from that row or from that column, how many are they asking about that you're looking for the probability of occurring? So my denominator is adults who received a sugar pill. How many received a sugar pill? That's this row. The denominator is 150. Then the question is, of those 150, so only this row, how many reported contracting a cold? That would be the 33 contracting a cold and receiving a sugar pill. Now 33 over 150 is not an answer choice. You can simplify that in your head or on paper, or you can say 33 over 150 and ask your calculator to make that a fraction, and that is 11 over 50, which is choice B. On these questions, always read carefully, and once you've made your selection, I suggest rereading the question to make sure that you interpret it properly. What proportion of adults who received a sugar pill, my denominator was adults who received a sugar pill. Of those, what proportion report contracting a cold? That would be these 33 out of 150, so I have the right answer. Come back soon for my next SAT math video. With math, there's always more.